gentlemen, it is your girl Pip here on ABC Me, and this is Dear Pip, where I help you figure out life. Let's go. You know those times at a sleepover when it's like in the middle of the night, it's like 2 a.m. and you think everyone is asleep, and then suddenly this little voice from the darkness asks, how do I know if my crush likes me back? What is the meaning of life? Is technology hindering or helping us as a society? Am I the funny one in the group? Because I kind of feel like I am, I don't know. You can ask me those kinds of questions because I'm here to help you solve your life problems. So are you ready? Good, yes? Well, we've only got five minutes to solve them. So let's get going, boo. First question! <coughs> Thank you so much. Can we get a shot of me being like, <laughs> this is from Jess. Dear Pip, I'm going on my year five camp in a few weeks and I hate camp! Actually has hate in capital letters. I hate the food, the activities, everything. How do I get out of it? I've got a great idea. You can get out of it by saying you have the runs. <laughs> Pretty much works in any situation. I need to go to the toilet! Oh no! <laughs> it's coming! <laughs> Except probably this one because it's embarrassing to tell your teachers that you have the runs. Gravy bomb does get you out of a lot of situations, but in this case, it's not gonna work, okay? Don't take my advice on that. I take it back. Don't say you have gravy bomb. That's such a bad idea. Here's my actual advice. Camp is not for everyone. And I'm not here to convince you that you're gonna love it, but I would recommend that you go to school camp because some of my best memories from school are actually from school camp, even when I wasn't having a great time. Here's me from year 10 camp. Okay, so we had a class of about 100 people and it was divided into 10 groups. So the first fitness level was like one to three out of 10. And they were the people who were just gonna like relax, chill through it, it was gonna be fine. Then the next level was kind of like the average fitness level. So that was like six out of 10. You were fit enough to like run away from a snake if you had to, but otherwise you were pretty chill. And then <laughs> was the 10 out of 10 fitness group. That was like school athletes, people who were going to state to represent the school in running and swimming and discus and all of the sports. So me and my friend at the time, we were like, we'll just put ourselves as like the six out of 10 fitness group. It's gonna be lit, great. But it was not lit. Our PE teacher at the time, for some reason thought that we were really fit or she maybe just wanted to punish us, I don't know, but she put us in the 10 out of 10 fitness group and we were just horrified. We were like made to carry our tents and our food, which in retrospect is what you do when you go for a hike and camp, but the one to three out of fitness group, like they didn't even have to carry their tents or food and they also had like a car to drive them between tricky places and we were literally like, we need to be in that group, but we're in the really fit group, but we're like really struggling and this is gonna be so hard. Oh, we hate our lives. And it was like the worst. And then it got to like our first night of camping. So we basically set up for the night, put our tents up, had some dinner. We were all in silence because we were all just so tired and no one was happy. <laughs> Even the really fit people were like really tired as well. And then we went to bed, unfurled our sleeping bags, zipped them up and then just stayed awake all night and we both cried because we were big babies. <laughs> <laughs> but after that really hard first day, we actually ended up having a really good time and we came out the other side with heaps of funny stories and experiences. Like the fact that the second night of camp, we realized that no one was sleeping and we basically all just got up together because we were like, I'm not sleeping, you're not sleeping, let's party. So we did until our teachers yelled at us and told us to go back to sleep. So what's my advice to you? Don't try and get out of it. Talk to your mate and say, I'm not looking forward to camp, but I need you to stick with me and keep making me laugh even when I want to grab a kayak and row away, away from, from this nightmare. surprise yourself so keep an open mind and also if you really hate camp food then why not just pack some food from home you know comfort food yeah oh I love the fit families oh I almost forgot we have time for a quick question dear Pip what language should I choose for when I start high school next year Japanese or French this is from Jaden wait no that's Spanish 
Is that an option? Because I would choose that. Anyway, that's all we have time for. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. This was Dear Pip, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Au revoir. Sayonara. Gracias. Bye. Have a beautiful time.